Well, in his first three years at Texas Tech, Shannon Hayes has made it look pretty easy, taking the Red Raider softball team to the postseason in each of his first three years here. He's already the winningest coach in school history, but now a new challenge, having to replace the eight seniors he lost from a year ago and acclimate 11 new faces to Big 12 softball. Great day to be in Lubbock, Texas, huh? It's not boring, that's for sure. There she is. Get your booty out and throw it. Put down, Minnie Mouse. Twinkle toes. Stay with it. Good pitch. Ah, clankety clank. Here. That way, man, a good hand. Or otherwise, it's going to eat you for lunch. Let's go. I don't want any mistakes. Let's go. Ow, that hurt. If I get catch it, I will run you down and tag you out. Yes, I will. Girl, that's perfect. Well, I'll stand out there in left center field freezing my booty off. You think you can beat me in a race? You do. My 14-year-old took one in the back yesterday and gave it one of these and wore it. You're over there like, you, you think in a 60-yard dash you can beat me. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> Hope there's some editing involved in that. It's a lot like the first year that I came here. Everything's new for the most part, besides the, the five seniors that we have coming back, and they've definitely been a security blanket for us this year. But, uh, you know, with, when you have 10 new freshmen and, and uh, a new junior college player, it's like starting over in a way. There it is. See how that popped off your bat? Because See, see what you've been doing is right as you get ready for contact, you've been push, you've been pushing out like this. You know the teaching aspect this year has been huge for us. See what you, you're doing this right here. It's got to be here, down and then turn, not at the same time. Compared to last year when I observed more and just tried to encourage and and work with girls on their confidence and just do small things to tweak their swings and their fielding. You know, this year it's been more of starting from the ground up and, and really teaching our system and how we do things and our approach to things. And uh, so this year was definitely different than the last two. She set you up, Shelby. She pitched you in and then you start stepping out and she throw it the outside part, you're through. I think last year at times uh, it got a little boring for, for me just because we had those mainstay starters that were here for three years. But you know, they knew what I wanted. They knew what to work on. They were such great competitors and had such a good work ethic that they almost coached themselves. Hit some spots now. You gotta get ready for this weekend. Let's go, get yourself ready. And so this year it's been a new challenge. It's been an exciting challenge and uh, it's been fun feeling our way through things. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? A little extra on it. <laughs> bang, 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 let's go. It makes it rewarding from week to week when you see them get better. Uh, because, you know, again, this year's different than the last couple of years. Uh, these young girls, you know, when they go out and, and they'll have some successes, but, uh, you know, they're bound to have some failures just uh, adjusting to things that they haven't seen. But to see them grow from week to week and work with them and, and spend one-on-one -on -one time with them on their swings uh, and see them get better, and, and when you see them succeed, then you feel like you did it together. Okay, take it up, uh, Shorty. Take it, take it up. up. Take on three. One, two, three. Take. take. 